New World Human Progress, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 226. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 226, July 23rd, 2017 edition. What our project is about, which you can see happening in the background here, is New World Human Progress. And that's what I want to talk about as you get a preview of everything that our, prog our, prog <laughs> our project has accomplished already and what we're working on. And then I'll jump into one week of our team's progress and accomplishments uh, and do an overview of that. So what is New World Human Progress? Well, we see the new world as a world built on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition. We think that it's possible to cooperate and collaborate as humanity to simultaneously and comprehensively address all of the challenges that humanity is facing right now, from climate change to social injustice to poverty and homelessness and lack of energy infrastructure, quality education. All these things we think are not only interrelated, but interdependent. And we think that the solution to any one of them is really to address all of them. How is it that you can solve social injustice and social injustice inequality if you don't address education? How can you address homelessness if you don't address poverty? You know, how can you address lack of energy infrastructure if you don't address all the other ones? All these things we think are connected, and we think the foundation that can solve these challenges is a comprehensive model of teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, which is what you see happening in the background here, is our models for these things that address all of these challenges simultaneously. And we call this an evolution of sustainability. It's taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as high good economics, high good education, fulfilled living practices, and truer stewardship. Putting these things together and open sourcing and free sharing all the foundations necessary for replication and creating a teacher demonstration prototype so that people can come and experience what it is that we're doing, experience everything that you see happening here in the background. And if you like what you experience, if you like what you see, any part of it or all of it, to be able to take the open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources and replicate them for your own use. Bring together a group of people to create your own eco community or even a community within an urban environment or just taking the individual components and integrating them into your personal life or your family's life in whatever way works best for you. Because it's open source and free shared, it's designed specifically to be adapted, modified, and evolved and improved beyond what we're doing. And we call this project launch blueprinting because it's designed not only to be replicated, which the open source model is about that, but it's designed to take it to the next level and specifically launch additional projects. And our hope, our desire, well, our knowledge, uh, we know that if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate this idea is attractive enough, then the idea will spread its own. Our hope, though, is to bring on more and more people interested in new world human progress and collaboration and cooperation with us to increase the open source components, the open source uh, elements that we're creating and create an even larger global suite of cooperation and collaborate <laughs> cooperation and collaboration contributions and ways for people to get involved and participate. So easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so that idea spreads on its own. And we believe that if we do that, if we can create this self-replicating model and build one community as a place where people can come and experience it, so it's not just something they see online, but so it's a place that they can actually visit and experience. And the happier the people are living within that environment, the more successful that environment is in, is in producing happy people doing more of what it is that they love, providing more things to do with more free time to do those things in, an, in a resource-based, money-free environment where money does not need to exist within the environment because it provides for the complete needs of everybody that lives there, their education needs, their recreation needs, their self-growth and development needs, as well as global contribution needs and family needs and all of those things. 
And ironically, people will pay to come and visit such a place, but our job, our goal is to teach people that, hey, if you like this, if this seems like your ideal, if this seems like a place that you would like to vacation, why wouldn't you create this as a place that you could live all the time? And to demonstrate people doing that with the goal of open sourcing, in our case, with the goal of open sourcing and free sharing it so the model will spread on its own. And if we can accomplish that goal of making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough so it spreads on its own, it has the potential to transform our planet to a truly sustainable world that meets the needs of all of its inhabitants within our lifetime. If you run the numbers on a self-replicating model, the idea that 50 people get together as a beginning point, and our goal is to grow one community to thousands, and to invite tens of thousands and then hundreds of thousands of people to visit over the life of this community, which is meant to expand indefinitely, to grow and expand indefinitely and help other organizations grow and expand too. But if it were to start with 20 or 50 people and that were to motivate and inspire just two additional communities the next year, and if those two were to inspire four more, and those four were to inspire eight more, and those were to inspire 16 more, each year inspiring twice as many as the year prior to that, we have the potential within 30 years to meet the needs to, to positively and permanently transform our planet by meeting the needs of everybody. We can achieve seven, eight, nine billion people in 30 years. And everybody doesn't have to participate. Only the people who want to can participate. But our goal is to provide, to demonstrate a way of living that is so much better than the way that people are living right now that people will want to participate. That it will gain mainstream attention, mainstream adoption, and become a new way of living, become a new world hu human progress model that self-replicates to create a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. So this is what our all-volunteer, non-government, non-profit organization is all about. And now what I'd like to do is share one week of our team's progress and accomplishments in creating this new world human progress. Let's check out our progress and accomplishments for last week. Here it is. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, created the EarthBeg Village Net Zero bathroom header and Facebook graphic, and a new render which we added to the page. You can see those images here. The core team also continued working in SketchUp on the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. We created two classrooms next to the art studio and continued developing the barrel furniture designs, planters, and other elements shown here. Joss Alunga, electrical engineer, joined the team and completed his first week working on the electrical design details of the vermiculture bathrooms. You can see his initial designs here. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 20th week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower and vermiculture bathroom designs. This week's focus was continuing to update and revise the piping layouts for both freshwater and rainwater supplies to the spigots, toilets, and drinking fountains, as shown here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pond 3 renders. Here's update 78 of Dean's work. This week's focus was continuing with lighting and more object placement in the dining and presentation area, as shown here. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 48th week helping with the compressed earthblock village design and render details. This week's focus was additional pergola placement updates and test rendering the main village view. And Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued helping with the Treehouse Village Pod 7 renders. This week, he created version 3.0 of the village layout and started work on the final ramp connections and changes. One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued work on the DIY pipe furniture tutorial page. This week, we created two materials images for the pipe shelving section and the shelving downloads button image. 
We also merged the pipe shelving and the pipe lighting into one section and created a new pipe lighting collage and added it to the page. Additionally, we added three more images to the pipe shelving and lighting diagram section. The core team also built the main page structure and wrote the what and why sections for the City Center Heating and Cooling Research Designs, Plans, and Adaptations page. Additionally, the core team created and added this image to the City Center lighting page. What it shows is the main social dome lighting tests and results. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, began work on the City Center structural engineering tutorial. What you see here is his first week of work writing the content for the first two sections. Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, continued with her 42nd week of work on the lighting specifics for the City Center. This week's focus was continuing the testing for the placement of the 60 plus smaller lights within the social dome, as shown here. Ramya Vudi, electrical engineer, also wrote the final sections behind the scenes for the PV solar microgrid tutorial. You can see some of this work here. And Aravind Vasudevan, BA in mechanical engineering, also continued his work on the city center thermal battery design details by beginning the process of modeling the climate battery in AutoCAD. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team streamlined the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan Hub page by moving the details of the temporary food plan to the Food Bars page, as you see here. We also put another five hours into the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week, we wrote up the intro and explanation for the wood frame for the Hexiert and entered the additional materials and pricing on the Transition Kitchen spreadsheet. You can see a glimpse of this work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the communication lesson plan and the open source lesson plan. This brings us to 38 of 52 finished, which is approximately 73% completion. We also finished another round of research and editing of the school licensing and accreditation tutorial behind the scenes. And we began adding more detail to the existing Montessori section of the alternative education resource pages. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working with Ashwin Patil, web developer, finished version 2.0 of the highest good economics search engine and version 3.0 of the highest good energy search engine. You can see some of this work here. Vivian Rodriguez, translator, also continued helping translate our overview pages. This week, she finished about 80% of the highest good of all page, as shown here in Portuguese. Well, there you have it. This is how we're creating new world human progress, and that is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments in achieving that goal. If you'd like to see, see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog or just visit our website and you'll see huge amounts of information and all the details of everything that we're talking about in this video and all the pictures and everything that you've seen and a whole lot more than that. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or our Facebook page or LinkedIn or Tumblr or Reddit, whatever social or Pinterest, whatever social media network is your favorite. We are on them all. We're on about 20 different social media networks, so you can also subscribe to our social media networks and follow our updates or manage your updates that way as well. Uh, and most importantly, thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the comments we get. Thank you for the likes we get. Thank you for the shares that we get. You know, our project is built on sharing the information, on open sourcing and free sharing everything that we do. But to get the information out there, we can't do that without your help. So if you're somebody who shares our information or has shared our information, thank you. 
Also, thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the donations that we get. We're 100% volunteer, unpaid organization. None of the management team is paid at One Community, so all the donations that we get go 100% to forwarding our open source goals, keeping our website running, and things associated with that. So whatever way you're supporting, and if it's just watching to the end of the video, thank you for that too. However it is, we appreciate it. So with that, this is how we're creating new world human progress. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.